Hello, this is Larry Schultz, and I just wanted to kind of go through a quickie little IK Boost rig. Uh, this is not anything very sophisticated, and I haven't set up the controllers in a real pretty way, but it's, uh, I've got them set up where it's usable. It took me about 10 minutes to get a, a, a good working rig, which is way faster than the current way of rigging in, in uh, Lightweight with full-time IK. One thing nice about IK Boost rigs, when you look at them, you can, you can tell just by looking at the controllers <laughs> what attributes are applied to those nodes, those nodes being joints. And one of the beauties of IK Boost is once you have it rigged, and as you're animating it and you go, well, I, I wish this character were rigged a little bit different way for this situation, you can change your rig on the fly. It doesn't change your motions. So in terms of posability, we can start, say, with the feet. And let's go to the side view. And let's just click here and see we can rotate the feet. Move the feet. Let me click on that node there so we can move the legs around. And see how the orientation of the foot is staying locked. Okay. Also, if I grab the character and I just po move them around, the feet stay locked, both in position and orientation. I can rotate this way. I can grab the knee, rotate that, pull this out like that, go here. I can uh, move up, like I said, from the uh, the feet to the knees. The great thing is, is I can I have I K and F K available all the time. So I can rotate the knees from here, but I can also go from here and rotate from here. So I have control from several different places. Uh, I can also go in here and mess with the hips. Okay, so I've got control that way. Again, very easy to do. I can click here, and I can rotate, say, the upper body this from here to get it posed. But I also can go up here, and I can additively rotate all of the spine bones at the same time. Now, a nice thing, too, is I've got controllers where I can go in here, and I can, say, rotate the forearm, and I can rotate the shoulder, rotate the clavicle, okay. I can rotate, twist, I can twist the, the elbow, or the forearm, excuse me. Now the nice thing though about this particular setup, let me uh, click here is I can also set up my controllers so I can do what I call IK, what's called IK targeting. So instead of having to go from this controller to the elbow to the shoulder to control the whole arm, say starting with the, the clavicle, I can, I can control the forearm from here, shoulder from here, clavicle from here. And again, like I said, I can change this on the fly. I can also hide these controllers if I want to, depending on what I want to be able to do. So I can click on any of these nodes and rotate. So again, it's, it's very possible, very easy to get nice, stable rigs in here. And there's a lot of power in IK Boost. But uh, I just wanted to, to, to demonstrate that it's not difficult to get a, uh, a good, posable, stable rig in just a few minutes using IK Boost. Thanks.